This uh, this portrait looks really good too. Beethoven SC says, "Hey Grub Grub, just a time to come by. What do you think will be the best role for Samuro in contrast to the top picked heroes? For example, Spit Push and so on. So I think Samuro is the first melee assassin with global presence. He is a zero tool and Nova type of ambushing hero." My magic with the almost the chase potential this of an Illidan, who has the chance to take something like Precision Strike in Bladestorm, or something like a Dahaka Global Burrow with his mirror images, but it doesn't become truly impactful until level 20, Systems same as Dahaka. Ten seconds. Oh nice, so we're gonna try Four, Executioner. Three, two, uh, one. So we don't technically need Way of the Blade, because he's going to take the slow for me. So, because this one does do more crit damage, which is interesting, 25%, but I can also get Way of Illusion. And I've never taken it yet, so let's go with that one. So Way of Illusion, um, and then we get Merciless Strikes, and we'll take everything that synergizes with that. No, 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 I want... I want the way of illusion. Peace. Okay, so mirror images versus mirror images gives you crit stats. Strike unseen. Makes sense. I am renewed. My thanks. It was an honor to fight one such as you. Who did you say that to? Jaina? Oh dear. The beacons are energizing. You have to control them. Yes. Yes. I see wisdom in this. And that one looks the like Artanas. Control them. Please let this work. Please let this work. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh <laughs> no. <gasps> oh Pride comes before the fall. Hey Grubby, what do you think? Which weaknesses will Samuro have? Like what are possible counters to him? Well the very obvious one is that hundred percent of his damage comes from auto attacks. 100% except Blade Storm. Hey, why is my critical strike cooldown paused? Yeah, 100%. So, uh, besides Blade Storm. So, uh, Blinds is one. Two, he has no self sustain. And three, he has no CC. So, actually, there's loads of counters to, uh, to uh, Blade Master. Let's see, I'm gonna go for. Yeah, I'll get the mir Mirage. Greetings, friend. Now we fight! I don't think I'm the best hat target. Yes. How much bonus damage? Twelve and a half. I 
no escape except my movement speed. Oh, so Blade Master actually has four to five escapes. No, four. He's either alt. Blade Storm is an escape uh, because it's unstoppable. Illusion Master is an escape because you can port to an uh, image. Uh, Windwalk is an escape. Mirror Image is an escape. And Advancing Strikes is also an escape. Almost to the order of magnitude of uh, Wind Fury. We must conquer top while keeping bot. But I am needed to conquer bot, so. I mean, I'm needed to keep bot. Whoa. Nice combo. Uh, increased critical strike damage. That one is nice for every image. Because that one will help so much with the execu executioner. Wow, we actually took it. He has to hit me back or he will not have movement speed. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I must have more mirror images and then I get additional crits. So ideally, I keep them alive. Hey, uh, Kagrom, thank you for subbing, man. So images are pretty useful to hold the Zerg wave. Wow, Samuro useful on Zerg map. Live. Thanks, Ariel. God to your play. Ariel's a god. Oh no, wait, she's an angel. I must retreat. And do we have the quest yet? Almost. Greetings, friend. Is it new that you can see XP from each minion when the XP pop up? No, it was always that way. Funny the kind of things people will imagine is new, right? An excellent heal. An excellent choice. Towers will still one shot. Nice Cindergoza. Avatar Clone Samuro will mean six Blade Masters. Just like you imagined in your wildest dreams. Crown is Ariel Trace. I know. I know I'm not really a king, Chaz Degs. Now it's just the exact number, not just X. Oh, really? Oh. Really for minions too? This oh that's new. As you were pointing out. As you were pointing I out. Now we fight. No. I will redeem. 
my clan. Your blood will save my blade. Very Aha, impressive. Here. Now we fight. Greetings, friend. Slay these mercenaries. Thank you for subbing. Ah! <laughs> Thank you for sho shoving. Thank you for shoving. Oh. <laughs> Mildly shocking. Ah! I thought I tapped already. Cool down. Thank you for shaving. <laughs> Thank you for shaving some light years off of my life. We do. The path is clear. They have their separate uh, mount cooldowns, isn't that sweet? Like no matter, I am somewhere up. You are a worthy ally. The wisest warrior knows when to retreat. You'll be active soon. Is there any reason not to spam W? You can do it that way if you like. You can do it that way if you like, but the downside is that W resets the progress of your passive crit. Mirror image is body block, yes. Geeky McFan, go. You want to dismount slightly before you summon, so that they can all mount up kind of fast. The path is clear. I thank you. These new Vikings seem pretty good. <laughs> yes, destructible. These Vikings seem pretty okay. Justice is done. He teleported. Uh, I'll get merciless strikes. Oh. Oh. 
A new hero germinated. A valiant effort. My wounds. Greetings, friends. Dream is dead. I dodged Ariel's heal as well. Zutsa, thank you for the sub, man. Can you switch your position between your mirror images or am I just drunk? <laughs> he believes, guys, he believes that you can switch with your mirror images. Zerg threat eliminated. <laughs> you say that he didn't tell you because he just windwalked, you could see him. Uh, Aurelian says that, but as I said, he did Shukuchi. Next time I'll say he shukuchi He did teleport. Must be drunk. No, no, no. Honestly, yes, you can switch with your images. For example, you can do this. Mount them up. You don't know which direction to choose yet. Like, should I defend top or bottom? Let's send mounted images. And then... I think I'll go here, but I'll I'll check it first. And it's like, oh, actually, I want to go bottom. I don't know if I could. You can crit some buildings. Oh 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 oh. The true OP comes when you uh, get merciless strikes. Quack kill. Mega kill. Again. The beacons are powering up. I'm going to pull back. Oh, Arthas man, did you crit on the buildings by your talent from Cinder Freeze? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I critted off Cinder Freeze. Fair enough. Let's test again. Go for Blade Master's pursuit. Do your images always Hearthstone when you do, or can you send them somewhere else while you Hearth get health and switch back to one of them? That would be able to if game mechanics work standard while roar, but they specifically removed images when you Hearthstone. If you're silenced, do your clones disappear? Nope. Hmm. 
When Samuro wind walks, hiss. Uh, if you, let's see, if you, you can prime up crits for your wind walks with W. It goes on cooldown when you cast it, but crit stays for you. You can prime up, sorry, I don't understand the phrasing. I'm not a native speaker in Batronics. Try again. Uh, if you create illusions, asks Resquex, while having a lightning shield. Do they have lightning shield also? No. So the healing beam from Morales. The Thunderstrikes from Falstart, Safeguard from Morales, all of it follows the real Blade Master after your mirror image. Any status effect remains. Kala's Embrace Shield remains. So it is pretty uh, obvious which one is the real one if you mirror image with status effects that stay. Low for Law asks, I got two questions. Do you think that it will be a problem? That our beloved Blade Master unites some unique traits of other heroes into his kit and might spoil the fun of playing other heroes. <laughs> it doesn't matter, dude. There's 55 heroes. Play the ones you like. Don't worry about the rest. Uh, they should never stop making heroes fun at the risk of making others less by comparison. That's like saying you should not write a new book as a successful author at the risk of having people not read your old ones keep getting better and if people like the author enough they'll read it all uh, the second do you like reminiscing do you feel like it's reminiscing worker 3 to playing the friend. iconic blade master in heroes of the storm yes i anticipated him more than any other hero and i am a big fan of him now that he's out Res96, thanks for subbing. Also, Captain Oates Z2689. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. By the way, someone from chat gave me this build. And I liked it the best so far. Well, not entirely the build, but I really liked it. Way of Illusion. Season Marksman, his version thereof, far easier to complete than Season Marksman. <laughs> so much easier. Uh, Mirage is inconsequential to the build, but combines nicely with Mirage Steel, which combines nicely with Wave Illusion. He asked specifically for the 716 interaction. Phantom Pain. No, he didn't ask for this one, did he? No, this wasn't the chat build. It's Arthas, Sencon, who asked me to get Merciless Strikes to proc with his Frozen Tempest. Sorry about that. Yeah. So it made me actually try Merciless Strikes for the first time. And as you would expect, being a situational talent, and by the way, Jaina Chill as well, oh my god. This one is the best, I think. From the other 16s. There are some pretty good other 16s too, but this one added a lot of damage. And then you get this one. The Phantom Pain synergizes with Mirrored Steel because you have more images more often. So you get big, big crits. Wave of Illusion is fine here, or the more critical strike with more damage is also fine. But this is a very nicely synergistic build. Illusion Master, because you have so many images. This, I think, is the most full build that we've had so far, which is great for a swashbuckling, brawling affair on Braxis Holdout. For level 20, was this important? Movement speed's always nice. Honestly, I think level 20 could be the upgrade for Illusion Master. You would probably not go to Windwalk upgrade with this build. So it's either this one or the Illusion Master upgrade. Now, because it's Braxis Holdout, I didn't really need Illusion Master upgrade. But on Warhead Junction, you would definitely get this. Greetings, friend. So. A lot of other questions, guys. Trady Great, thank you for subbing. Logan, thank you for nudging me. Um, I just want to quickly make a few builds to begin with. Because I feel like we have just learned something. So let's invite you into the, <clears throat> into the Matrix.
do some builds <clears throat> for Samuro. Um, this one is not important anymore. Um, the trailer is not important anymore. Okay, um, the first build, no, not this one, for Sumiro. Your chain builds are broken. Okay, I'll try to fix. Thank you for the note. Sumiro. That is not Sumiro. Okay. okay, so I really like this build that, I, that we just did. Phantom Pain, Mirrored Steel, Illusion Master. Um, merciless strikes you get it if you um, you get it if you have someone to proc CC like Jane or Arthas on the team Wow 13,000 percent it's quite a bit I'll make a note that butcher and Chen need their builds fixed but I'm not gonna do it right now Thanks for the feedback, guys. Uh, press the attack. When, while advancing strikes is active, basic attacks increase attack speed. That's always going to be pretty good. Though it does not synergize with Phantom Pain, it does synergize with Mirrored Steel. Because you get more attack speeds. And then that synergizes with Phantom Pain. So, if I could, I would write some... Feedback here. Okay, so it's press the attack and Blade Master's Pursuit. Uh, actually, I would say three blade style. It's difficult though. I would say either this or this, and either this or this for the build. I will say this with the situationals big map, take three blade style, and if you have lots of CC, get merciless strikes. So, this is one very nice. I think I'll remove this one for now. This is one very nice build. It's the mirror image one. And I wonder, can I call it standard? I think yes. I'll call it standard. Mirror image. And our opinion could change. That's okay. Now we've tried some other builds as well. Not Harsh Winds though. Yeah, Harsh Winds is good. But not the one that I'm going for here. Now, we go with the Windwalk build, which is, like, this one is great for bruising and brawling. Lots of images, lots of damage, lots of distraction. Um, gives you lots of effective HP if you count the mirror images. What this does not do is give you the best, quickest way to single target burst someone, nor to chase them. So we'll make a build for that. Yes, you can prepare a crit before going to combat. I know, in Batronics. Thank you. Uh, I was planning that and I was playing like that too whenever I could. So this gives you massive move speed. This one, I don't think you really need it. So you go for the massive move speed. And then you get the reduced wind walk cooldown. And then you do bonus damage when you come out of it. But I don't know that you really need Kavarimi or Shukuchi. To be honest, Shikuchi is a gap closer and a dodge. But you already have a gap closer and a dodge with increased movement speed windwalk. Very fast windwalk. Which one gives you the longer duration windwalk before you break from it? Oh yes, the level 1 quest. So I don't think you really need Kavarimi or Shukuchi. Shukuchi is very strong, but you don't necessarily always want this. So I'm gonna stay with Mirrored Steel for now, as I think it's very valuable. And Mirage. Deflection... Deflection is also very good. But I feel like your biggest threats are mages and blow-ups. 
So I'm going to keep Mirage for now. It also makes your images more tanky. And... Two charges is nice with harsh winds. So you can come out of Windwalk, put that on them, and then crit them twice. And I would still take... Would, I, would you still take Illusion Master? Mm, I do think it's the strongest one. Who needs a Blink at 13? And you're ridiculing me, Toby. Uh. Yes, I like uh, I like German as a language, low for low. It, it gives me pleasure to speak it from time to time. Uh, would you go Bladestorm here? Yeah, Burning Blade is a big crit, no conditionals. This is 65 every time. This is 40 per image. So for a single image, this is just strictly worse than Burning Blade. Whereas this one can be 80, just 15% extra. Maybe you should always get Burning Blade over Phantom Pain. No conditional. Yeah, I think you might be right, uh, Sencon. Oh, Sencon, you're the artist. Shukuchi can go through walls, which makes it a great uh, situational pick. To get over Force Wall and Entomb. Yeah, maybe Burning Blade is simply better. Better wave clear. Some some collateral damage to allies and no conditional. You don't have to cast mirror image first, which will allow you to keep it for an escape. The question is, when you harsh winds attack someone, do they take bonus damage from your initial attack or only everything afterwards? Burning blades. Greetings, friend. Okay. And let's just give this blade storm. So the idea is you chase someone very fast. Thank you, Mercan, for subbing. You chase someone very fast. Then you hit them hard with a big burst. With the harsh winds. You can get away again very fast with Wind Strider. <clears throat> you can get images with block to uh, provide for an additional escape. And then if everything you already did and they're getting away, you can follow them with the blade storm or use it to get away to do some additional damage. It'll be the assassination build. Finishing assassin. And then one more, let's make a newbie build. Harsh winds procs on the very first attack when coming out of stealth, Grub. Yeah, but does it mean that your first attack has 30% bonus? Let's make the lowest skill build that we can. So definitely Blade Storm. You don't want double charges and you don't want to have to think about your images. So Burning Blade. Players may not remain stealth by accident. They may not use it properly. Um, this one requires you to think this is just charges crits more often will reduce the chance that a newbie accidentally overrides one of the three tiers of build up towards crit now there's only two builds up to crit so if you manually activate crit smaller chance that you well, you remove one, zero, or two stacks at most. So your expected value of removal uh, of stacks is one. Whereas the expected value with three is one and a half. So you get half less expected average of cancellations for people that just don't pay any attention at all. You don't need to stack it up. Quest. So this is the best newbie talent. Best newbie talent. Best newbie talent. Best newbie talent. Teleportation. A newbie will like, oh, where's my hero? Where, where did I go? What just happened? Not good. This one? Um, okay. It's okay. 
This one may be more useful. They don't keep their blades alive, so they need another one quickly. Um, merciless strikes. CC what? CC? I'm a CC. So no CC considerations. Don't need to maximize your damage. Oops. Don't need to maximize your damage after coming out of Windwalk. Just more attack speed. Here's how a newbie plays. Tychus minigun. Stutter step what? And that's okay. You don't know how to stutter step, then press the attack will not even bother you. Now, if you're stutter stepping and your attack speed goes up, suddenly you have to change your rhythm. A newbie doesn't have rhythm. <laughs> so, press the attack. And then finally, lots of blade storm. Because you are a newbie, and you're going up against newbies, and they're not gonna dodge anything. You don't need Bowser's movement speed, because you don't disengage from any fight, ever. You don't need more cooldown, because you forgot that you have abilities. So, Dance of Death. The perfect newbie build. Still good. No shame. I recommend this one. We've all been there sometime. It's okay. Cool, we now got three good builds. Tim Payne, critical strikes deals an additional 40% of your basic attack damage for each image you have active. Wow, 351. Jeez. That one is actually really OP, I think. Enemy slain. 